Our next guest is a talented actor and writer you know from shows like It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. He stars in season four of AP Bio, which is now streaming on Peacock. Let's take a look. That's the thing with cults. I mean, they do start out idyllic. I mean, who doesn't love dancing and fresh lettuce? Look, we need year five of the cult, where there's a bunch of pantsless children running around firing guns when everyone's foraging for dumpster lettuce. We gotta make Durbin think you guys are way more disturbed. Maybe we could hang after school, try to dig a little deeper. I recently realized I've been lying to myself for years about having shredded abs. I don't. Please welcome back to the show, Glenn Howerton. How are you, Glenn? Good, buddy. How are you? Uh, I'm great. It's always delightful to see you. I want to talk about the show, but I, I really want to talk, before we get to it, about the new additions to your family. Ah, uh, the doggies? Yeah, you have, uh, you have two dogs. And this is, uh, this is new for you in your life. Yes. Uh, this is a very new thing for me. Uh, I grew up with cats. Uh, I've never had a dog in my entire life. Um, and uh, my wife talked me into it. And uh, she talked me into one, and then she, a couple months later, talked me into getting a second one. Now she's talking about a third, and I'm like, you got to stop. Stop it. It's, it's too much. I how, mean, much on, you know. how much of a gap between the first talking into and the second talking into was there? Uh, I'd say about maybe eight months. Tops. Okay. We had the first dog for about eight months before I got talked into a second dog. And But overall, like, what would you say is the big difference being a cat person all your life and now entering the canine world? Truth be told, I've done a complete and total 180. Uh, I used to uh, I used to like cats because I thought, I, I don't know, I just thought it was kind of cool that cats were so standoffish and you had to kind of seduce a cat, you know? Like you could, cat's not just going to come to you. You have to kind of like play little games with the cat. And like, I, I thought that was kind of sexy and fun. Uh, but but with dogs, I mean, you know, and I always thought with dogs, I'm like, it's too easy. It's too easy. You know what I mean? They just, they run up to you, they slobber all over you, lick you, jump on you. Yeah, like, get your dirty paws off me. You're, you're a little desperate, you know what I mean? It's yeah, a yeah, yeah. You, you have two boys as well. Uh, we have that in yeah. common. You mentioned yep. they're getting older. I My kids, you know, my oldest is five and a half, so he's still, there's nothing that he is into, like, in regards to youth culture that I don't understand yet, but I feel like you're, like, how scary is it when you realize that you don't know what they're talking about? <laughs> so the most recent thing was, uh, uh, my kids suddenly were like, were like, oh, Dad, that's so sus. That's so sus. And I was like, I, what, word, what, what is that word you're using? Like, sus? What are you saying? Um, and apparently sus means, like, suspect. Oh, it's man. very suspect. That's what they were saying, you know, so... It's like it's like this. It's every generation. You know what I mean? You hit the you get into your forties, and then all of a sudden, like you just like you have so many responsibilities going. You got so much going on. You can't I can't keep up with with what the hell the kids are talking about these days. You and know? you really at that point when they use sus, you have two awful choices. The first is just owning up that you don't know what sus means, and the other is trying to fake it till you make it, which makes you seem even older than you actually are. Because I think kids can see right through that. <laughs> yeah. I think you're totally right. I at first I thought like sus, like do I need to like sus out what that means? Or is that, <laughs> yeah. is that what you're saying? I was like, they don't know that word. No, I don't know what I don't know what you're saying. Um, you uh, on AP Bio, uh, congratulations on season four. Uh, obviously you're around child actors. Well, not child actors, right? Like they're not kid kids, let's be honest. Yeah, I mean, you know, they were, some of them were in their late teens and early 20s when we started, and uh, now some of them are, like, in their 40s or something. Uh, no, they're, they're all, like, I think, I think I do think a couple of them are in their 30s, though. <laughs> like, uh, Nick, uh, Nick, who plays, um, who plays Marcus, yeah. that kid has to save, like, three times a day. It's, yeah. It's crazy. Uh, his his so son just auditioned for us. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's great though. But but it's the same thing with those kids. Like uh, you know, they they like sit around their little circles. You know what I mean? Like I hang out with the adults because I don't know what those guys are talking. They're in their twenties and thirties, and they're like most of them are single, and I don't know what they're talking about. Yeah. I can't follow. It's uh, that's uh, you know I miss uh, having my writers in the building because they're still you know they're working remotely, and that's the most jarring thing when they're around is that reminder because you actually feel young as long as you're never in the same room as people younger than you. <laughs> That's the key yeah. Dude, to staying I, I, young at heart. I mean, do you have this thing where, like, I mean, I still, in some ways, I can't accept the fact that, like, I still feel like I'm in my 20s. And it's not until I'm around people who are actually in their 20s that I go, oh, no, no, no. I'm very, very old now. Yeah. I'm old. 
It's um, I it, it's amazing that every I feel like you and I are very similar. We're like, yeah, but we're gonna be young forever. <laughs> and then it's like, no, not we're not interested. <laughs> No, and I, you know, I do a pretty good job of like keeping up with what's going on with music or so I think. I mean, I don't like a lot of like pop music, but I try to like listen to like really cool stuff and um, I'll play it in the car, but my kids make me turn it off as we're pulling up to the school because they don't want the door opening and like <laughs> whatever blasting out of my car to come out. I'm like, this is cool stuff, man. This is like good music. Yeah, I feel like even with the music, they only show us the stuff that they don't want. Like it's like the, it's not the Glenn Gary leads that we get with new music. It's like, <laughs> you'll like this. And you're like, hey, the new music. And then they're like, no, that was the bad music. <laughs> I really appreciate you making a Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross reference. Yeah, I, well, I, well, cause that's what kids are into. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the 1990, uh, 1990 <laughs> Glenn Gary, Glenn yeah, Ross. They, they like the play. Um, <laughs> so you, uh, uh, speaking of, so you, uh, we've talked about this, uh, that you were, you know, uh, formally trained as an actor, uh, went to Juilliard and, you know, did some really serious stuff. And now, uh, not just with AP Bio, but with this incredible record setting run on Always Sunny. Are you surprised that your sort of early acting chops have led down this comedy path? Yeah, I, absolutely. I mean, like what happened? You know what I mean? I was supposed to be taken seriously. Uh, I, I was, I was on the path to, uh, becoming a very serious and well-respected actor. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then I decided to be a clown. Um, no, I, 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 when I look back on it now, I realize like I was all in a group of like very, very serious actors. I was always seeking out the one, the one or two actors who I could just kind of like make jokes with and mess around with because everything we were doing was so serious. You know, we're doing classical theater and stuff. And I actually do love that stuff, but there's gotta be like a, a, a release valve, you know? And, and I'm, I'm sort of firmly of the mind of like, um, that even when you're doing a drama, acting is supposed to be fun. Now, I could be wrong about this. You know what I mean? If you ask Sean Penn the same question, he'd be like, acting's not fun. I mean, you know, they get, they got, kind of got, you know, he does scenes where he like lights his foot on fire to make him some back pain and stuff, you know, in a scene where it's like, I think it's supposed to be fun. Like, even when you're in a drama, I think even if the character's not having fun, the actor should be like enjoying it on some level. Otherwise, it's like, why am I doing it? I don't know. Well, so, um, I think we're very lucky you ended up on this path. Uh, also, I think we're all very excited about the fact that you guys are now uh, starting up again. And uh, I would imagine, uh, and, and having been lucky enough to talk to other people who work on the show, the hardest part at this point is just coming up with ideas. Like once you have the idea, it must execute pretty easily because of how well you know each other and the characters, but just coming up with those ideas now must be so hard. Yeah, it's brutal. It, it's I'm not gonna lie, it's absolutely brutal. The 15th season in the writer's room was like, I mean, it really was that old thing of, of like, no, we've done that. No, we've done that. No, we've done that. You know what I mean? And you can't, the characters can't fundamentally change who they are. You know what I mean? So like, they can't just become a different person. So you're sort of, you're hemmed in a little bit in, in terms of like what the character's attitudes and what their point of view is, um, you know, but that being said, I mean, I, this is my, I took two years off from the writer's room, season 13 and 14. And uh, so I felt a little fresher coming into it this year. And um, I, I, I can honestly, I think I can honestly say this season of Sunny is probably going to be our best in many years. That's really, uh, really exciting. Uh, congratulations on AP Bio. I can't wait for that. And it's always so great to see you, buddy. Thanks, man. Good to see you too. Next time, hopefully in person. I really hope uh, that is true. AP Bio, streaming on Peacock.